Hello and welcome to the Central West Corner and today we're going to be doing a Fixer Upper episode and today it's going to be Clone Commander Wolf. Now I've already purchased a Clone Commander Wolf, this is my second purchase. I uh, managed to get him from Indemand Toys, he's come back in the UK for $19.99 which is fantastic and the shipment was super fast, it's almost as quick as Amazon to be honest. So here he is, I always want you to do a Phase 1 uh, Commander Wolf, which I have done, but i only just done the helmet. I only made the helmet sort of a, a little while back and my other <laughs> Commander Wolf is just kind of fluctuates between me putting that on or swapping him over like that because they actually are the same bodies. I was wondering whether to not do a bootleg and paint it up and stuff but I just thought it's just there I might as well do that. So now I can take that one off. So we're going to customise up this one, I'm going to weather this one and we'll put a new skirt and all that on him as well. So we'll have two nice phase one, phase two Commander Wolves. So I guess without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. So if you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to like, subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss the next episode. It really helps the channel and it's very much appreciated. Thank you. So first thing you want to do is actually just pop off that skirt. It's bloody terrible and we're going to replace it as soon as possible. So just grab your fake leggings that you bought from Amazon Prime and just cut out and use templates. I have Captain Rex's ones here, they are longer than Wolf's. So I'll just draw around them then cut them out. Once you cut out all your templates, what you want to do is grab Ocean Grey 2 RAF XF82 and it's a perfect match for Wolf's grey colour. So now it's time to add that skirt. What you want to do is just do a dob of Loctite just on one side and then just do another dob on the back and then just try and fill it in 
Just use those tweezers rather than your fingers, because if you get stuck to it, you're going to know about it. So just to add a little bit more to the figure, I really hate the white pegs. So I just paint over them with simple black and we do the bottom ones there. The ones up in the bicep, just leave a bit, half of it white as you don't want to fill it in too much black because it's just going to filter into the actual armor part. Next up, we're just going to add some scratches and stuff over it. I just use this jelly pen rather than sort of getting some white paint, etc., over the actual armor. You can just go anywhere you like with these pens and just put in all your sort of armor scratches, etc., over it. What I wanted to do on the phase one armor was get rid of that brown stuff. So I tried acetoning as much as of it as possible, which is just nail polish. So just go to your nearest sort of health and beauty store and pick up some acetone nail polish. Just make sure it says that in the label.
Last up, just want to finish with a bit of weathering, a bit of black wash, a bit of brown wash, just to coincide with that brownness that's already on the Phase 2 armour, and just bring it all into one to make it consistent throughout the whole piece. Last but no means least, what you can do is just get your X-Acto knife and just in that index finger there, just do it really nicely, slide it right down and go to the actual hand plate that we got on there and just put the actual gun in place. You might use some tweezers or a knife just to pull that finger out just very gently and stick it into the gun trigger and then you've got two trigger fingers, which is fantastic. So here they are, all finished and we're ready to join the others on the shelf. And I didn't really need that much really. I mean, to be honest, Wolf is quite a good looking figure to begin with. Yeah, he just needs his weathering just to be a little bit more upgraded, just so it's got more continuous kind of flow through the actual figure itself. So with the phase one, we've obviously just gone around, we put a new Karma or Kamara skirt on there and um, it just adds a lot better, it just hangs a lot lower, it just looks better than the actual official one itself. On there I've acetoned off the kind of weathering, which is the brown on here which I've left. Uh, on this one I've tried to take it off and just sort of just submerged it about a little bit. Not as much kind of weathering on the phase one because obviously he is the phase one before he gets a little bit more damage there on the phase two. So um, yeah, it's not too bad. I did try moving these little bits out of the way so you get more articulation here in the elbow, but it didn't work out too much. So uh, I just kind of left that off the uh, tutorial, but there is a way of doing it. Um, I tried having a go, but it, it, it didn't succeed in the way. So um, yeah, apart from that, I think he's looking pretty cool with the head stuck on there and um, we've got all the movement and etc. So it's pretty cool to have a phase one wolf. And then with the phase two, just exactly the same again, but we went over with the brown wash just to add those extra elements there, just to cover him with more brown to sort of like fall in line with that brown splat on there. And yeah, gone over with all these white chippings and extra parts and a bit of black weathering as well. I don't want to do too much black weathering. I uh, kind of like my figures to be clean to go along the other side of Hasbro figures. So all the Stormtroopers, the Clone Troopers all kind of match up, if you know what I mean. Like you could go a little bit too excessive sometimes and it takes it away from it being a, a figure on the shelf and goes a little bit to a um, model kit looking, which is fine if you want to go down that route. I haven't got a thing against it. I'm just a little bit too OCD that I like all my clone troopers kind of to match up. So the actual paints we used on here, obviously we just got the flat aluminium. We're going to use that once and that's just to do the little aerial on his shoulder. And then we used Ocean Grey to RAF XF82 and it's a great match, absolutely fantastic match for Wolf. So that's the actual paint that I used on the helmet. So if you look, it's literally a close match to the actual figure itself. And if you did a black wash over the top of that, it would easily match it straight up. So 
it is a good one straight out of the pot so no color swapping on there obviously we've got the washes here we've got brown and we've got black that we've used on the figures and then the other thing that we have used is the jelly pen so i've got a jelly roll on here and um, yeah it's just a really nice little white pen that goes over the top and you can just do all your little lines and if you make an error you can just wipe it away and then basically you can just go over it with a, a any kind of clear coat and it will keep it in place as well so it's just a really easy way to add those chippings on there rather than using paint brushes or scraping away paint it's just an easy easy way of doing it so thank you so much for joining me in this one i'm hoping that this will increase your uh com commander wolf i guess it just looks 10 times better now that skirt was just too short beforehand and with this it adds that extra character on there and definitely puts him with the others on the shelf as well so thank you once again you can let me know down in the comments down below if you're going to try this at home or if it's inspired you to do something else with one of your other figures and then you can subscribe ding the bell so you don't miss the next episode and until then i'll see you next time take care bye <laughs>